What up my beautiful baby birds? I am back. Took a little break after I finished up my uh my Haya Toys haul. Um super excited still. But I decided to do uh my first review back on Hunter from the Skeleton Foreshadowing group, which I absolutely love and I'm really lucky to get this figure. Now this figure's been out for quite some time, but um I was unlucky to um, pre-order it in time and it sold out everywhere um including um fly Ema, which uh skelly uh told me about that website and um i wasn't able to get this figure on time and I, there was a bunch of reviews on it and it looks stunning i was kicking myself for for missing out on this figure specifically um, it's one of their premium figures. It, it's a little, I think it's like $10 more than what a normal Joey Toy figure was. So uh, they're like 30, 40. So this one was like 50. Um, and I do not regret buying this figure. It is so hype. It is as, it is as pretty as those reviews are. On that note, since there's so many reviews on this already, I'm not going to go crazy with this, but um, it is, it's just, you know, gorgeous. It's a gorgeous figure. Um, and he is supposed to, I guess he's supposed to be paired up with the other Skeleton Forces figures that got released in the past. And in the size comparison, I will show um, some of those members. So stay tuned for that. So as I always do, folks, I put um, all the accessories out either on the figure or out on front so you can see it. So I'm just going to pick up this bad boy so you can see him closely. I hope the light's not too bright for any of you guys. Is looking clean on the camera and I really I just gotta say I really dig um, the metallic greens um, and gunmetal that they have on him um, but that is also probably one of two gripes that I have with this figure now um, what do I mean by that I will show you the box so when this figure was first advertised, he uh, was advertised as having gold on him. And I was really hyped for that. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see how they do the gold. It's going to look cool. Um, but this is what we got in the end, which is still fine and still looks similar. But it, I, I thought it was going to be like gold. So um, I was like, oh, that's a bummer. But doesn't detract from the fact that it's a pretty ass figure. The other thing I don't like about the figure is his... Um, his forearm bands now everything mostly everything on joy toy figures is modular so you can you know move things around and such but he he's has like rolled up sleeves and i don't know i kind of felt like having this kind of defeated the purpose if you're gonna have rolled up sleeves so um it does look cool as you can see it's, just, it's still pretty still looks the same same kind of paint it's just a small gripe you could just heat this up with a blower raise it up a little more till it gets a little tighter um and that's all but um yeah still a beautiful figure he comes with all these accessories one thing that i just realized is that i think i'm gonna go back and watch some other reviews i think they screwed up on mine i got two right hand closed fist <laughs> hands um and not too not not a left and a right so i'm like oh okay i can't ever pose him with you know throwing hands but um that's okay if you're an avid collector of joy toy you have plenty of hands to swap with i would say right off the bat probably suited assassin's hands are probably best with this guy and he comes with two beautiful knives um uh two knife holding hands and two knives so we're gonna get into that look at how pretty i really appreciate these these knives like that i'm probably gonna have him like this you know um displayed with both his knives um but yeah that looks amazing i like really dig it looks nice uh again let me get that hair out of there it's from my cat hercules um i don't want to go too in depth with this because there there's a couple of reviews i'm just really excited that this figure is in my hands um and i get to play around with it i could just right off the bat that, that's his handgun by the way i decided to put his other minigun on his holster because i feel like it looks better than this little crappy gun actually it's not a crappy i you know one thing i like about the premium is that they just 
it seems like they just do more with the paint. They probably use more expensive paints, I guess. I, I wonder if there's an explanation to why they call it premium. But uh, that's his little Uzi, which I love. I really, oh, well, Tommy gun, I said Uzi. I really like how this, I, this gun to me doesn't really suit him too much. But um, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm probably going to use this for other characters. But I dig that he comes with so many weapons that you can pick from. He also has his shotgun, which I love. Oh, and the stand, the stand that I have him on, which I'm probably gonna use this stand for every other Joy Toy review I do because that stand is awesome. It's a really good stand to use. You can put all their accessories on it. Um, Jesus, the more, this aesthetic is nice. Looks great, looks great. It's a tight figure too, so like you might want to heat it up a little bit. Um, mine's is tight at least. That head sculpt, the helmet is amazing. And like I said before, if you're an avid um, Joy Toy collector, he does not come with an extra head, but you could pop this head off, take off that scarf, and you can put another head in. Oh, I love, I just noticed this now. I love how that kind of looks like, you know, like a jawbone with teeth. That looks so awesome. That looks cool. This reminds me of like if it was a human predator. Like imagine this guy hunting. Ooh, that's a good idea. Could use this guy as a human predator. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, he got, you know, you basic stuff. I'm, I'm not going to dwell too much on this. Uh, also, I am looking forward to pairing him with some of my Hayatoi stuff. So you could see how it mixes in with those lovely, lovely figures. You got your T-pose. You got your elbow bend. Everything's modular. You could um, take this off from the sides. I don't reckon, I'm not gonna do it because I have the Bounty Hunter that came out a few years ago. The moment I unclipped this, this got warped and it never fit the same again and I ended up having to glue it. So I'm not gonna take it off him, I'm gonna leave it alone. But you could just pop off his hips and take the belt off. Uh, you heat up the joints in between. You could pop this off. You could take this armor off if you like. The only thing that can't change is his, is his calf. It, it, this, the bottom leg it, it, and the knee, it's one whole piece. And the foot is one whole piece. But you could take the top part out, I think. Yep, you definitely can. Um, Jesus, this is, like, this is a really good figure. You could. He has a pretty good spread, too. You could give him a nice you know, kick. I feel like this guy is going to be my CQC master. And though his helmet looks amazing, I'm thinking of head swapping him with Steiner or or somebody. Um, just maybe Suited Assassin will look nice in this. I swapped heads with Suited Assassin with one of my other figures and it looks amazing. Um, we'll get to that when I do the size comparison. Wow, this looks nice. Well, that's it for now. So he does, he does look amazing. So the next that we're gonna do now is we're gonna get into the size comparison, folks, which is, um, aside from the video collage, my favorite part, hold on. Here he is next to his fellow Skeleton Forces mates. This is a uh, figure B, I believe, and this is figure A. Um, yeah, he's supposed to be a part of this crew, but it, he just he just looks like he could be you know part of a whole different crew if he wanted to he just looks amazing i guess yeah because you can see the, the skull design in the mask so that yeah he's he's a skeleton force guy in my opinion he's like their leader that i'm always going to have him paired up with these guys when given the opportunity but yeah he looks fantastic next to his boys here is hunter next to some of your acid rain figures you might have and I have to say when these, you know, when you have a masked character, you know, from Joy Toy next to some of the Acid Rain figures, it does look badass. It, it looks, it looks, oh man, it looks amazing. And this is the, you know, again, a Hunter's premium, so he looks just as pretty as some of your Acid Rain figures. I, I like this comparison a lot. This is cool. It's nice to see them together. Here is Hunter next to some of your more modern joy toy figures and this is uh you know crowd favorite rego and we also have steiner with a suited assassin head swap so i'm gonna just refer to him as the assassin because i like this head swap way better i like this head sculpt way better than the sculpt that came with and i have to say they look magnificent next to stein well next to hunter sorry wow looks so cool and he he really does you know hunter just stands out like it's so 
it's such a pretty figure like it's it's really commanding I, I i dig it i dig it so much whoosh jesus i said it once and i'll say it again predator one version two jungle hunter unmasked amazing predator wolf battle damaged <sighs> Amazing. I think they're the prettiest uh, Haya toys in my collection next to this pretty ass uh, Joy Toy premium figure. Looks magnificent. I have to say, like, I, everything I show after this is, is like, is like, oh my god. I should have saved this for last, but this looks amazing. So you guys get to see how Hunter is going to look next to your other stuff that you might have in your collection, especially your Predator stuff. Now, you know what's next. It's time for some Xenomorphs. Nice. Nice. This looks great. Fantastic. I know this is about Hunter there in the middle, but uh, this damn lead Xenomorph just steals the show every time I put him next to a figure. Beautiful. Looks fantastic next to each other. As I said before in other videos, um, I know some people are, are you know, like, like, with good reason pretty serious about scaling and with the xenomorphs it does not matter you could they, they're gonna work with almost all your figures even the um it's even gonna work with uh your warhammer stuff so it doesn't matter this looks just as fantastic so um you could do what your imagination wants to do so it, it looks it looks beautiful to me this looks fantastic this is uh avp1 xenomorph and this is the lead alien from Alien Resurrection. Looks fantastic. I, I just, it looks, it looks really, really cool. I'm really happy to see this. So we got one more comparison. And I think you guys know what pair I'm going to show next. Yeah, Hunter is pretty much screwed in this matchup. But look at how it looks next to these two imposing figures. These are some of the... Uh, moderately large figures in your Haya Toys collection if you have them um and just to go to show you how nice these are going to look next to your you know collection like Hunter is amazing looking um if you I know as of the recording of this video Big Boy Collectibles which is a New York based toy store they they well they're an online store now um has some of these guys in stock big bad toy store when i looked just before recording i saw that it was sold out but every now and again i'll go and it it's there again so just try your luck i do recommend the figure i know this figure's been out for a while but really excited to have it really lucky to have it it's it's uh just phenomenal um i recommend it if if you want to shell out the cash right that goes like 50 bucks um i I'm, i understand though because um it buying some of this stuff has been halting me lately because of how expensive some of this fi these figures are getting and like you got to remember these are 118 scale you know 3.75 inch scale is like why do you cost as much as some of these giant figures like it's like what is going on i understand the quality is good but it's you're still not a giant piece of plastic like the other ones are but i digress it's it's still a a, a fun thing to collect you know so um be picky um I just oh man this figure is so cool um I was uh very picky with this one as you guys can see I didn't get the other one which I'm thinking about getting because he looks kind of good too for like custom ideas but anyway peeps that's enough for now stay tuned I have some special stuff down in the pipeline planned so just uh be ready for that this is that damn figure show your host with the most I'm Ben and I am out